to hear. I got this one too then. So from Dave, I've got a bunch of reads that come that came with my pipes, but I can't seems to get any to work. I'm just kidding. Some gurgle, others make no sound. How can I get reads fit for a beginner? And how many should I get? So this answer is identical to the previous answer, which is you stick the read in and you play 16 bars of music. Or if you, um, if you, if you're a beginner and you don't have 16 bars of music, just play low A for 16 beats. Okay. You know, you just count it out. That's a good suggestion. You know what I mean? Like just play low A for 16 beats. Cause you know, a lot of times if we're just starting on the pipes, playing Scott and the Brave is like really hard and confusing. So it's going to totally distort this test, but uh, play it. Now, if those reads gurgle like crazy as you're playing those 16 beats, it's not a good read. If you can't, if you can barely get any sound to come out of the read, it's not a good read. Uh, and then from there, like, let's say you do that and you end up with no usable reads. Okay. Then you want to contact your dealer um, of like, like, you know, let's say pipersojo.com, or maybe you get your reads from your band or maybe from your teacher. Um, and you say, I need, you know, I need three beginner strength reads and order those reads in um, and then do the test again and send back anything where you can't do the 16 beats keep the remainder. Super simple, right? And then from there, if the reed worked when you mouth blew it, it will work in your pipes. Now, it might be that you don't have good coordination yet and that you have to develop stuff. Um, and that's called learning. Okay. And we all have to do it. We all have to learn how to operate the pipes. And we generally recommend two reads, at least for a beginner. Um, yeah. You want to have a backup. You want to have a backup. You know, and and what I said yesterday was give your local supplier a call and say, Hey, I'm a beginner. I need some really easy reads. Yeah. No I just did yet. that with Adrian Melvin. You know, um, I emailed yeah. him and I, I wanted about, I wanted about a dozen, you know, to have around for my students and whatever. So I just, I was like, Adrian, I need some really easy reads for beginners, like super easy. Uh, and that if that's what you feel like you need now, meanwhile, um, just kind of ordering the standard easies are good. And the other thing is, if you do have one of those chanter read pressure gauges, mm. uh, you could use that. Um, or you could even use a dojo style manometer with a measuring tape, and you can uh, figure out how many inches of water your ideal read is. And that can sometimes be helpful when ordering reads. Some retailers will, will be able to kind of cater what they send you to the inches of water. But, but at the same time, you know, um, done is better than perfect. So it's, it, yeah. you know, it's much quicker to just email whoever your person is saying, I need some super easies, like easier than easy, uh, and just go from there. And then it's all going to be trial and error.